I almost said good morning. It's not the morning. It is late. It is late. Yes, it's, what, it's dark. Not nine yet, it is, is it? almost nine p.m. So we're getting together for we're having a coffee. Another early spring break, number three. Cheers. Oh, we're using the same cup as last week too. I know. Cheers. Um, sorry, we do have um, had some questions. We don't sell our mugs um, oh. online, so there's nowhere you can get them. This is closer. Unless to you me. come here. Yeah, just come here or come to a, sh a show where we're we'll, at. We'll do a door. You can pick them up at our door. We'll put mm. them outside for you. Throw them at you. Yeah. Catch. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> All right, welcome to Cozy Up Knits. I'm Sarah. I'm Jamie. I'm and Gran. I'm Gran. Gran. She's knitting. That's how many times now. Gran, you're, you're going to be part of our intro. Sorry that I cut you off there. Um, so we are doing, if you're just uh, stumbling across us, we are generally four sisters from Grand Prairie, Alberta, Canada. Um, but we are doing the distancing. Yes. So you we will are see. socially distancing. Yes. Kate and Chris are fine. I've had some messages. Are the twins okay? Like so what's going on? I'm like, we just today figured out an online uh, Zoom yes. thing. Sunday is Easter, isn't it? No. No. Easter's in like two, two weeks. weeks. Oh, okay. Jackie, they're doing the podcast. What is it? The 14th? The 14th oh, it's year? before your birthday. Yeah. Maybe the 12th. Yeah. It's whatever that Sunday is. Oh, yeah. That's all right. Um, so we are. Um, we're gonna do a Zoom meeting tomorrow. Yes, night. with the other two sisters. So we're gonna. Yeah. Have a normal-ish podcast. It up won't for go you. up tomorrow. No, no, no. Like, this will go up whenever, and then the next one will go up. You'll see. maybe Thursday. That one will go up mm -hmm. of this week, whatever that date is, April. Oh yeah, that's a good blah, idea. Blah, blah. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, I'm thinking it'll probably go up. That's Thursday. our normal day. Yeah. Okay, so maybe we'll be able to get back into a weekly sort of um, pod podcast. But anyway, if you're new, I just want to say that normally there's two more in between us, our twin sisters. Yeah. And yeah, we are sisters and all that jazz. So thanks for watching. Hope everyone is well. We're snowed in basically. It is horrible outside. It's horrible outside. We've been in a snowfall warning now for the last, it's been snowing three days. for like three, four days with no end in sight. Yeah. So. Tomorrow. Tomorrow it's supposed to end. Today it, did, it, it just was it's light. Cold. It was cold though. Did you see the forecast? Are you joking? Oh yeah, back to the 20s. Minus 20. Oh man. I don't think it gets nice till really right before Easter. In the plus. Plus two. All right. This is my <laughs> frustrated face. We're going to make it. It's not like we can go Super anywhere anyway. Yeah, but, but at least we could be out more with the kids. Well, that's the thing. Like kids were outside every day playing outside in the backyard. It's been and really cold. It's cold. Yeah. It's been cold. My daughter, both my kids actually got out of the bathtub today, barely had to, like, I had to force them to put their ginch on. And they're like, can we go outside? And I'm like, first of all, you're naked. Second of all, TMI. it's really cold and like it's really cold. and it's like storming out. So yeah. And like winds blowing off all the roofs and like swirling in your face. Anyway, so that was my dramatic. That was very dramatic. Swirl. So this is a knitting podcast. Yes. We'll show you what we've been working on these last few days. Um, Me we've barely, got some goodies, barely anything. goodies in the mail. I've been knitting a lot. What are you talking about? Um, did you ever cast I didn't on your knit for two days. No, because I am, I am finishing these two Yeah, well, maybe you'd days. have had it finished if you'd have been knitting for the last two days. I know, I didn't knit for two days. Oh, I can't believe that. Like, you have nothing better to do. We have literally right. nothing better to do but knit. Well, we got these, like, fun apps and, like, <laughs> this, like, gaming apps to play with people. It's called House Party, and so now we've been, like, and it's funny because as soon as you, like, pick up your phone, your phone knows that you're looking at it and this Tells app everyone. will ding that Sarah's in the house. I'm not really, but then somebody else will go in the house, like, look at their phone and go into yeah. the app. And then it's just like, oh, well, so-and-so. So then you join into their chat and then it's two and then somebody else will pop yeah. in so and then somebody else will pop in. And, and Cousins and aunts and mom. Yeah, and like I've talked to Trevor every day on that. I know, it's been pretty fun. Yesterday, he works in a bakery and yesterday he took... Um, my aunt in Red Deer and uh, my sister here, like Christina, in the glass, um, and took them on a bread tutorial and taught them how to bake bread. Oh. And he's in on he's on the island. He's in Victoria. Well, that's pretty cool. So. So we're finding some positive, um, you know, ways to connect, and it's been kind of fun. Yeah. <laughs> it really actually. It has really been. actually does. Yeah. <laughs> Zoom has been fun. My kids are getting owly, but I'm having fun. I know, right. We're knitting lots. Yeah. I love the meme that's like knitters and crocheters. We've been preparing for this all yeah. our lives. And also the one like to the husband. You thought I was crazy last year buying all this yarn. Like, oh, yeah, like yeah. saying, oh, do we you were really, just preparing. Do you really need all this yarn? And then like now. Me yeah, now you going, do. <laughs> yes, I do. All right, let's show some knitting and then we'll 
have a little more chatsies. And I've got Ooh, lots of stuff this. that came in the mail. I don't remember if I've shown this. Ooh, you showed it on the regular podcast. You would just cast it on. Yeah, like I did. Because I think this I called part. it Lord of the Ring Colors. Right. Same. I had a face. Thanks to everyone who commented Molly Ringwald last week. Or oh yeah, it's just, I couldn't get that in my head. I also don't people really like her, yellow. so okay. I love how but you said that to the side mall. I don't really like I don't really her. like her. But I maybe it's say. just because I read the book and I like the character in the book and I don't know if I love how she played it. Fair Whatever. Enough. That's fine. Whatever. Some people will agree and some people will disagree. Anyways, um, these are my two at a time socks for my husband. Kind of blowing out. We have a big light right above us, and of course, we're not setting up our. I should have just set up my lights. Sorry, I'm kidding. Oh, it's fine. Um, so this is the Targaryen Wolf colorway, the Jon Snow colorway from Kim from Ginger Snap, and it says "Winter is coming." So many it's not all over, all over my head. Okay, I'll move my face to you. Winter is coming. Um, and I'm gonna make my son a pair of these as well. That's a nice Match. colorway. It's super nice. Can I look at it closer? So then I was asking my husband if he wanted like a different color heel and cuff. Ooh, so I like that bit of blue in there. I know it's sharp, right? Kim, nice colorway. Regardless of being a fan. Yeah, this is one of my. Ooh. Gosh, you have what? a tight DAJ. Uh, yeah, yeah and your I know. socks are toy, toy. Okay. Yeah. I love the inside of a three by one rib. I know, right? It looks so sharp. The reverse. It's just something I love. Yeah. That's all. <laughs> so. So tell a little bit um, what needles and. So I do vanilla. And all that black. Basic, blah, blah, blah. Basically vanilla. Um, for my men's socks, I cast on 12 per needle, I think. And then increase to 36. So what is that? 72 stitch yeah, 36 count? on each needle. 72. So yeah. In the round. You're doing a 2.25 millimeter and two at a time. Yeah. There's I almost did a 2.5 and I was like, oh, I'm just not going to. I like a 2.25 gauge. Fit, like his other ones fit that you made. I did it on a 2.5 and I didn't like it. I don't like them. One. Yeah. That's that was before I really made. I know, but look at how different ours turned out with the exact same yarn. Yeah. Way back, we knit the, the guys um, Calgary Flame socks out with of With the uh, hat trick colorways, the Calgary Flames and hat ours trick. turned out completely different. Mine yours like cooled crazy. Cooled like this kind of, and Jamie's actually, yours swirled all the way around. It looked like some stripe. No, it looked like micro stripes. It was perfect. Yeah, They're and mine beautiful. didn't do that. It's just because I'm a better knitter. It's because I'm a tighter knitter. <laughs> and you did a 2.5. Um, That's why. Yeah. We were on different needles and we had just to have different gauge. That's the interesting thing about gauge. Yeah. So. Okay, that's yeah. nice, Sarah. So that's that. Oh, and I'm doing like on the instep, like on the top part of the foot, until I turn my heel, I'm doing a three by one rib on the top and just plain stockinette on the back side. Because I like it. I like it better. You just get that bit of give. I think it's a great And idea. then once I turn my heel, I do that for the entire way around. A three that's by what one. I'm doing for Corey's. Yeah. It just, I, I, I just, you. I like to have the... Flexibility, that's yeah. not the word, but you know what I mean? The elasticity. Hey, that was a good one. Whoa, words. And that's even a real word. I didn't even make that wow. up. Wow. Sarah's I up on the, it. I always make up the words. So. Okay, very nice. I just realized we should talk about what we're wearing quick. Oh, yeah. Because we have nothing better to do. Oh, I need to find my weekender. <laughs> what do you mean? You're wearing it. No, my other one. It's here? Yeah, because I... I'm like, you're wearing it. The first oh. time we did this podcast, I, I took Daryl's felted one. Mmm. You're right. See, you should have given me the felted one and then right. I, you could have worn that hey. sweater that I left here a couple days ago. Gran? Yeah. Change? That sweater I left here a couple days ago? Yeah. Is it close? Um, I put it. We don't need it. No, We're I don't need it. I'm don't just curious. Uh, it's either downstairs. I don't know if your mom took it or if it's on. Uh, down there. The bed in my room. Okay, we'll I'll, find I'll find it after. I'm Annie's wearing, knitting, by the way, a weekender that I oh, stole from Jamie. Oh, it's, it's like super pilled. Super pilly. Okay, well, let's talk about it. So that's the cat. Because, yeah, actually. You talk about it. You knit it. Okay, another thing, uh, another question. We're just going to address questions was to bring out maybe an older knit and talk about it. So this is your older knit. That is not super old, but fairly old. I could just sit here and pick pills off you. I know, all I do that. Day. Let's leave like a big pile on Grand's floor. Okay, so and this is a weekend dog our, hair. Probably my favorite sweater. I, I literally wear my other one all the time. And I stole this one from you. I gave it to you. Did I knit it? That's two sweaters I've knit for you. Mm -hmm. 
I don't know that I actually knit it with you in mind. I just needed to knit another one immediately after knitting the first one. Yeah. So if you're new, anyway, we've knit the Weekender a few times. But um, then I did actually knit my own. Yes, I gauged up. I used it in a bulky, gauged yeah. up my needles, and knit the size small. Extra small. Extra small. And that will show another time. If you've been around, you've seen it. Yes. Yeah. She wears it. Was, it, that's a fairly like, recent knit. This I is out of. Didn't grab anything else because. Oh, it's fine. I was just like, I'm getting out of my house. No, we'll just, we'll just, yeah, get out. Gonzo. Get out. So this is a knit out of Cascade 220, non-super wash. So I won't wash it. In the maroon color. So we are finding that it does pill, but that's fine. Yeah. I'm sure once you pick off the pills, I don't know. I don't have a lot. I've of... never like even reblocked it or washed it. I haven't done anything no. with it. Wool is so it like it sits in a corner, I and I just put it on. It is covered in dog hair though. I find sweaters are just low maintenance. Knits are like not high maintenance. Should we be washing them more? Actually, I've heard people talk if we had the weather, to just every once in a while leave them outside to air, oh, and air that out. wool kind of naturally aerates itself. Go ahead and tell us. But I heard that that's somewhere. Okay. So that's what you're wearing. Mm -hmm. And I am wearing, we're just sporting all the Andrew Mowry tonight. Oh, yeah. I'm wearing this for a reason. Well, number one, because I'm actually enjoying it a lot more lately. Yeah. The um, color's not so bad. I, I re-ironed it kind of and like flattened it a little yeah. again. I had some issues there. I've always talked about it a million Ooh. times. And I need, wish I would have put buttons or something. And I'll do it one day. But I probably won't. I still won't. haven't put buttons on my Gambier. So this is no me either. I so this that. is the Weekender. Nope. The throwback sweater by Andrew Mowry. Oh, I and love it. And it's got quite a few mods. I added pockets and I added the design again there. Was it there. not supposed to be there? Nope. Oh, perfect. I wanted to use up more of my... Um... Are you going to do that No, again? No, I don't think so. Um, not so, to give away what you're going to Not to give away, show. like, holy foreshadowing. Right. Right. So this is knit out of, I know this, Knit Picks. This is Wool of the Andes. Like all those little mini balls you can buy for color work. Oh, yeah, yeah. I won't attempt to tell you the colors. Just pick three that you like. Burgundy, um, green, and mustard. Exactly. And this is their their naturals. Worsted weight. Oh, and that's what I need. 100% wool, Logan's. not super wash. Or Shars. No, Logan's. Yeah. Shars. I still have a little bit left of it. I knit somebody's sweater out of it. Exactly. So I'm really liking it. I knit extra long sleeves, which are called for, I believe, and then you roll them. I'm loving that. I love that. Yeah. So this is perfect for this kind of weather. Yeah. Sweater weather. Which goes into what I'm knitting. I'm excited to Do you to want see to see this. what I'm knitting? Because I was going to cast something new on, but I decided I need to finish my love notes and my Mema first, or else I'm never going to finish them. And I'm so close to being done them I'm both. Being so responsible. I'm so close Jeez. to being done them both. That's so responsible. Sorry, I'm I just know. seeing what I we know. have here. The question came in. All right. So I cast on a new sweater, which I totally shouldn't have done. Super irresponsible, but I don't care. I'm the responsible knitter. It had to happen. Except that I haven't knit in two days. <gasps> we got all that yarn last, we showed on the last episode the yarn from, Yeah. I stole a bunch of it. It yeah, was for I know everybody. I took a lot of it, but I won't use much. And We're I not mad about it. It's only for the color work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Ooh, that looks good. It looks so good. Ooh, that looks really good. Doesn't it look fantastic? Okay, so I cast on the throwback, no, throw over, which is, Andrew Mowry's pullover version of this that she just released. Actually, this is also wrong. Anyone that's knit it or has watched knew that I actually did this chart wrong both times. It was just supposed to be like one by one by one. But when I repeated it, I did like one color work, two. And when I got to oh, the end, my color, it, it didn't, didn't work, work out. out. And I'm like, gosh, the pattern might be wrong. <laughs> I always blame Andrew the pattern. Mowry. I always blame something besides myself. And then I, I wonder, realized. It sounds like this looks different. Yeah, and then I realized after. So I just fudged it, and then I I think I did the same. Yeah, I redid it down here. I had figured it out, but I redid it just to make it match. Yeah. And then I did it wrong again everywhere else just so I could match. Have it the same, yeah. But this is the real way. So here it is. It's kind of hard to see because it's bunchy, but it is looking oh, fan-freaking-tastic. So I just feel it. Do I know not I did. just want to wear that? Yes, I do. So, so this is for me for my birthday? This is totally your birthday's coming up. It's my birthday month tomorrow. Just ask for all of the things I'm knitting to be given to you for your birthday. Yeah. Not tomorrow, it's the next my, day. It's, it's, oh, it's March, the 30th. It's March oh, it's the 85th tomorrow. Someone sent me that today in my Instagram. It's what? Welcome to March 85th. Oh, I know. March has never ended. <gasps> it's never it ending. It still hasn't ended. No, so I tomorrow just thought it was it's still, it's still March ending. tomorrow. It's still March. It's, it's our, our cousin's, cousin's birthday. birthday. <gasps> Happy we're, birthday, Maggie. We're on the same page, oh, apparently, are. today. We're on the same So let me tell you about this. Okay, so I'm totally busting stash. What am I casting on? For the main color, you're casting on... Oh, that hooded cardi by oh, So Sue. Oh, yes. It's called That's like... That's what it is. 
It's a shawl cute. hoodie. Shawl hoodie. I don't know. Is that what it's called? I don't know. Do you guys know So Soon Knits? And you've seen she just re-released her hoodie cardigan, like her hoodie. You'll see it once Erica cardi. Maybe next week. Just yeah, yeah, finish. yeah. I'm just gonna have to. I just have to finish these. Like this, I just have to finish the body, and that I just have to finish okay. the sleeves, and I'm literally almost done. So here's my drama. So here's my like, just on a whim, cast something on because I'm mama. sure I've got a lot of yarn somewhere for it. Negatory. <laughs> you do, do not. not. So I am using the city. I've had so much of this lingering around for like a couple years because. Remember that time I was going to knit a poncho and I ordered all this knit, this City Tweed DK and then I didn't? So it's the City Tweed DK in the colorway. I'm Orca. already saying no. You shouldn't do what you think you should do. Well, just hold the phone. Okay. So I thought I had like, uh, I'm not very organized. My yarn room is really disorganized. You should and take a picture of it. Yeah, I probably should. Um, I'm probably not gonna. I kind of organized it today when I was And then I'm like, am I gonna actually put it in the podcast? Probably not. No, probably not. Sorry, guys. Christina has not been editing. Obviously, it's been me. Back to the <gasps> Wait beginning. Wait a second. What? That's this color. Yeah, that's that color. This is the wrong color. So it is obsidian. Yeah. Okay, so here's the problem. I have two very close ones that I accidentally ordered. I have lots of this. I'm not worried about this. This is the one I have lots of. That's what you're using. I thought I cast it on with this. Oh. Crisis averted. Good. So let's. I was going to say no. Nope. Let's rewind. Do you know what? Actually, Mary Kramer, you messaged me. I'll message you back. I told you obsidian. Then I said, no, it's called Orca. It's actually obsidian. This is my main color. Obsidian. I'll get my face out of there. You can order this off Nitpicks. This is how close the two of them are. So they're really not that different. Wow. I'm shocked. Okay. So good. You're good then. Okay. I think I, I think I'm good. I might be close, but I can rip out those couple other things that I did. Okay. So that's my main color. It's DK. However, the pattern is called for worsted. Right. But I'm still knitting it on the same size of needles that it's called for. And I didn't oh, check Oh, so it'll be drapier. It'll be so drapey. Oh, that'll be nice. <gasps> it and it feels... does, it feels like the fabric is really... I don't want to put this down. It's not It's not like see-through though. Like it's no, really, it's a really nice and fabric I on that. Once I block it, it's just gonna, oh, I have to finish it first before I block it. Okay, <laughs> but let me tell you about these contrast colors. We showed them all last week, but I did not realize how beautifully they all went together. Yeah. Jenny from Cherry Pie. It's, the entire set is like a thing. The entire set is beautiful. So this is her Wizard of Oz set that she sent us on her Tweed DK base. And it's 100% DK. Um, there they are. <laughs> so this is, DK. right? That was the joke a while, a while back. I so like she that. She called it DK 100. DK 100. Um, so this is the twister. It's a twister. Twister or it's a twister? It's a twister. Yeah. And then this one is, um. Lullaby Guild. Lullaby Guild. And this one is a horse of a different color. And they're is all, it? yes. And they're all on her tweed. I thought the horse of a She's different color was me. more green. That is green. No, like just more. I thought this it had is more. actually over the rainbow. Yeah, I was gonna say that's not horse of a different color. I also lied to you, Mary Kramer. <laughs> wow, Mary Kramer, Mary, you is lying me. to you. I was pulling stuff out of my butt. Okay, I'm. Yeah, I was gonna say horse of a different I had, color. I have, I have like, horse of a different color. Yeah, and, and it's it way is, more green. It is more green. You're right. So this is called over the rainbow. We could be wrong, Jenny. Just message us below. I'm and this right. is Cherry Pie Cottage, and if you, oh, if you're in the states. You should order some. She's in Texas. You can order it from Canada too, but we all know, I think we we all just, know what the dollars like right now. I think we should be sequestered in Texas. Can we? Can we come to your house, Jenny? <laughs> can we come sequestered? Um, okay. I can't so that guarantee is what that, is. that we will not have all of our children with Look us. Look how pretty it is. I it's wish the so lighting nice. was like natural. So I've been a good girl. I've only knit like this much and I could have done a lot more. Yeah. But I'm trying but to be good. But you'll have the yoke done soon. I'm also enjoying the yoke and I don't really want it to... Like, I and? want it to end, but I don't, because then it's just all stocking it, which is fine, too. Oh, my gosh, you can't And stop. this is in my Cherry Pie Cottage Moosey bag, my Canada bag. It's my favorite. Oh, I better I not put my head on. I think it's my favorite. Me. I'm an itchy armpit. <laughs> I showered. I was teaching Char those, all those videos that Debbie put on Marco Polo today. Oh, the, and the boys, She was just, like, posting the, such the old videos. The boys were doing, like, the fart arm oh parts, gosh, and does. Char was trying to get me to teach her how to arm fart, and I don't, I can't do it. Oh, I can. I, I taught my boy as well. I can't. It hurts my hand. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. Oh. Anyways, she was like, Mama, can you hear the air coming out of my pits? <laughs> She's five. Oh. I was like, yes, I can. Grand's laughing. Why did I teach you that? No, just exactly, kidding. right? 
Okay, so that's what I've done. I have okay. a couple more things. Do you want to talk about something or do yeah. you want to show mail? So this, I'm going to be casting on a sweater, a new sweater, the Cardi, so suit, blah, blah, blah. Um, but so I need to finish first my Mayma because it is just about done. Wait till you see Literally. the colors that she picked for it. Please finish. Can you finish in the next couple days? Yeah. Can you finish by tomorrow? Hey, you should save something for tomorrow. What are you going to show tomorrow? I don't know. Maybe don't show that. Let's both show our Rose Hill sweater. How would tomorrow. I show it? And then I'll pull them out FO tomorrow. What time are we podcasting? Probably not till the night. Well, I was hoping we could do it in the day. Oh, just because the, the lighting. Kids, the I kids don't. in the background, it sounds terrible. I know, but if you put them somewhere, could you put yours somewhere? <laughs> yeah, I could, but I guess we could go at that time. I'm just thinking lighting, right? Lighting sucks at night. We'll, we'll figure it out. The lights on really bright. But if we do at the end of the day, we'll have more time to yeah, knit. Exactly. Maybe I could have these up out. Okay, oh so this gosh. is my Mayma. Gosh, Mayma. There's my sleeves, and they're short sleeves. Oh, you're so I just have done. one more color to get into, which I'm basically just going to do the ribbing in. Oh, finish it tonight. If I didn't have a flinky tank top on, I would take this off and stick my arm in this. But this it's, is already, we've already gone TMI with armpit farts and naked like, children. I'm like to here. Perfect. My kids are always naked. Yeah, I know. But they're at home, so. Yeah, that's true. Um, so that's that. I'm using, so again, this is the Mayma by Pip and Pin. Um, it's supposed to be one color Cardi. I did it in four. It's four a color fade. Out of a five color fade, there's one color I didn't use from Polka Dot Creek. Look at that honeycomb brioche. It's so much fun. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, so, you're going to have two beautiful sweaters. Yeah, I know. That's why I really wanted to get these done. It's like I'm so close to getting them done that if I, I cast know. on a you're new right. sweater, You'll be then I'd have three almost done and never finish them. And two Because then I'd ones. have find something else. I know. You're being responsible. Yeah, I am. I am too. Like, I, I'm putting good mileage on my other sweater. Um, I'll show that tomorrow. So that's this. Let me record, so I'll save that one. I should awesome, at least Sarah. have this one done tomorrow. Maybe I'll be wearing it. It won't be blocked. Tomorrow but... night. You could just give a little spritzy. Yeah, I could spritz it. Because it'll make all the difference. Mm -hmm. Finish it tonight, put it on the mask. Because that brioche is going to open then up. It'll be... I still haven't blocked my crux. I thought you did. Design yet? No, I was going to. Well, I still haven't typed it out and sent it to our tester, so. There you go. Bad um, night. And then the other thing is, and I just haven't like attached my, my other ball because I'm alternating skeins oh you're so close i know that's the thing i'm so close to being done to fart and sweaters oh my gosh because like the sleeves are done i just have to do the body it's so so i can't wait for my siri one to be done so i'm super excited this is the love notes and i'm knitting it out of rose hills sup sucka that's color so way. pretty look how different it looks when you hold it look i know that. it's just amazing to me yeah this is really soft. I know. This makes me want to do another and one. And her Surrey alpaca is called Surrey Silk, Silk Cloud. What colorway is that? Is, that? is the colorway on there? That's just what it says, Surrey Silk Cloud. We talked no. about this already. Oh, okay, that's the name of that. That's the base name. Yeah, it doesn't have okay. a name name. It's, it's like, like lavender. lavender. It's like super light. So that's Rose Hill Yarns, guys. So yeah. I'm kind of hoping that I'll be able to keep this skein, this like half skein. Is that what you have left? No, I have this left. I have oh, that'll finish your sweater. Yeah, that's and what I'm thinking. What else do you have? That. I want that. I want to keep this. I want to do like some socks. Yeah, you should have socks. Yeah. Right? Totally. It's 50 grams. Is it um a blend? I don't know. 7525, I think, isn't it? <gasps> Sarah, this Ooh. is so pretty. Ooh. Ooh. I found more. You have more. You're good. This is smidgy more, but. Hold on, oh, let me tell Robin, you what the blend it's is. beautiful. Oh my gosh. It's yeah, it's so a 7525. This is not itchy. Like, this actually feels like a cloud. Because you're knitting at such a, at such a loose gauge. So I have this in this left. This is softer than my mohair one, by far. Yeah. I would I would like to say that I think Siri is softer. Siri Alpaca? I don't know. Maybe it's just. So at least I have this little bit left if I need some I more. So I want to save that skein. Stuck in his thumb. I was just going to say that. Are we sisters? <laughs> um, Possibly. So hopefully I'll be able to save this. Okay, really? This bag has been driving me nuts in there. Just chuck it. Did it get into your bag? It did. Now I'm chucking it on ground floor. <laughs> okay, so do we want to take a quick, like, what came in the mail break? Yes. I want to see all the things that came well, in the I'll mail. I'll show you a couple things. And then we'll do one, a couple more things that I've been knitting. And then we'll do a couple more things. <laughs> Okay, well, here's something exciting. Some this giveaways. is why we shouldn't be stuck at home. Okay, let's talk about the giveaways. What's happening? 
Oh, I broke that. So we are currently running two knit alongs. One ends tomorrow. So we're really only running one when this goes up. Oh, right. So tomorrow ends the Ready, Set, Go, which we have some prizes and we'll draw winners. Not tomorrow, because we'll give one extra day. The next podcast will draw winners yeah. for that. But we have some giveaways. But this giveaway that came is one of the prizes for the Spring Cotton Cal. You guys really want to get in the Cotton Cal. because Oh, got, yes. You want to see what Penny sent? <clears throat> yeah. She sent you guys a three skein <gasps> DK oh, shawl kit. Oh, nice. Look at this. Penny, you're so generous. Thank you so much. So whoever wins this. Jamie's designing a three skein DK yep. shawl. What's the yardage on that? It's two, 218. Perfect. It's beautiful. So this is going to be the grand prize. Nice. Um, and then we will have a few other little things, I'm sure. But thank you so much, Penny. It's beautiful. How springy is this? Don't you just want to like... Oh, that's uh, so nice. Everything that's bright right now. Yeah. So thank you so much, Penny. Um, I also ordered some pennies, cotton, so... Sarah, I can't even handle. <gasps> oh, it is okay, sick. Now I'm take that it is sharp. So go, okay, go to Creek Garden Crafts That's right now. Than Pause this. Go to Instagram, Creek Garden Crafts, and follow her along. But look and see. Actually, I posted it on our Instagram too. Was um a our pattern Grande Double Wrap. Yep. Knit out of this combination, that which is, is new nice. for her. These colors are both new for her. So toffee and canyon. And the speckles are beautiful. Oh, Sorry about the lighting, so nice. but it's beautiful. You got to go see the finished product. Yeah. Um, would make a perfect two skein or the grande double wrap would be perfect. It drapes really nice, like her on the mannequin. Yeah. Um, but that's one of our patterns. Oh, and by the way, happy BT spring. Dubs. BT dubs. We are um, extending our pattern oh, yes. sale. Till May 1st or later. Or whenever we <laughs> Or take whenever it off. this whole like at least epidemic May ends. First. At least May 1st. <clears throat> so. Um and then we're gonna extend the 30% off on the Stitch Bliss and the Katie. Those are free. The free, the free on free those. On those. Those two are free. And then we added a 50% off on and no coupon codes, no nothing. Uh 50% off of the My Sister socks. Yes, and there'll be a there's kind of well, head over to Burning Impressions. Yes. And for the month of April, you might hear about our socks. But we put an extra special code on that one. No sorry code. About the crinkling. You know, I'm not sorry because crinkling means yarn. And I don't even mind the sound of crinkling. No, me when neither. People are on when they're podcasting. Because it's like that makes me look up for my knitting and like, ooh, what'd you get? Yarn. So yes, 30% off our entire shop in Ravelry, 50% off my sister's sock, free pattern, Katie, and Stitch Bliss cowl. Yep. Well, those two, two skeins would make a perfect um. Actually, I think she's offering still free shipping as well and Polka Dot Creek. Okay. On her sock set. I know, this is, I wanted to see this one. <laughs> I totally ordered this sock set. So this is her daughter, Shelly, who is Polka Dot Creek. And this is called Stay Home and Knit. Well, yes, I will. Darn tootin'. I think That's so sharp. These have to go on. Would I be irresponsible to cast on these? No, because you're never going to knit them. Would, would Chrissy cast this on? Chris would cast that on. I feel like it needs to go on the needles ASAP as possible. But as a sock, Christina, not a slipper sock. It has to go on as a sock. These have to go on as socks. I think I could do it. I kind of want to do it now. Okay. As <gasps> long as so somebody weird. does it. It's too pretty to sit on the shelf. It's so, super pretty. Check out Polka Dot Creek. There's her thing. Put your head out there. Oh. Put your head out of there. There you go. That's so nice. And they're both, both in Airdrie, and they have free shipping on a lot of their stuff, so I would yep. totally scoop these up. We'll discuss it tomorrow amongst ourselves. Yes. Who's, who's okay. Get that. Okay. I just think... Because then I'm like, oh, I have those other... I have that Over the Moon set that I Ooh, got, this. and I have Auntie Brenda's socks, slipper sock yarn mm -hmm. that uh -huh. we got, so I have those to do. Plus, I have my husband's sock on the but needles, I don't have and any, I have another like, sock on the needles. socks on the needles. I have... No. Corey socks, and I'm getting pretty close. Knit yourself a pair of socks. No, it will take her two but years. But let's see if Katie, will, like if Katie or Chris want to. I want to give them the chance to first. Katie won't. I know that. It's up Chrissy to Christina. Might. I might get her mojo back if she has something pretty in it, right? Yeah, maybe. Um, okay, so Shelly also said this. Oh, it's so nice. Is this a giveaway, Shelly? <laughs> or is this for us? Just kidding. So she sent her Spring by the Creek mini set with the little dingle dot. Look That's how pretty so that nice. Is. It'll probably be a giveaway. Yeah. We can't I could keep do everything. another um 
We can't keep everything. Mini design. There's six minis in there. Get get back to us, Shelly. <laughs> no, I'm good. I have another mini set that I'm going to We all share. So. We want to share all the love, and we have so many, um, you know, with the mini longs. Yeah. So that'll be coming to somebody. Okay, I'll show the next ones after. Okay. I, I have nothing else to show. Here, show this. Okay, so today I'm in a mitten. <laughs> and it's for me. It's for it, my birthday month. Do you need a pair of nice woolly no, mitts? I don't. I do. Yeah, you do. I don't actually have nice woolly mitts. See, I have my fiddleheads. And I don't, because I met you guys those like a million years ago. Yeah. Okay, so let me tell you about this sweet mitten. It is still needing a thumb. Didn't I just nail that? Look how oh, pretty yeah. Is. Just kidding. This literally took you five minutes. I, it was so quick. So, the lovely Anna of the Bluebird Box on Instagram. She is the designer behind the little tunic that Katie knit for her daughter. Yeah. I've knit quite a few of her color work mittens. And um, so she is putting together a pattern. If you notice the little houses, she's putting together a charity pattern with all the proceeds going to um, her local uh, shelter. Yes. She's contacted them. And in these times, um, they're just, there's a lot of strain yeah. on the shelter and I'm sure as everywhere. And so she's put this together. I don't know the name of it yet. It's not released, but I'm testing it for her. So these are little homes, like stay in your home. And little stay hearts. Stay in your home and little hearts. Um, and this is worsted. So I used um, slightly, possibly heavier than worsted. Uh, this is um, custom woolen mills. Oh yeah. But she yeah, goes by like- probably a little bit heavier. Yeah, she goes by the gauge. She lists all that. She's got great patterns, very informative. So I'm just waiting for her thumb chart. So I think she sent that out tonight. I saw it in my email. And I'll knit the other one up. Nice. Those are nice. And you think, okay, you crazy people knitting mittens in the end of March. There's 17 feet of snow outside. Yeah. And it's supposed to be really cold this week. So. Oh, so ticked off. I think I'll just need to knit. I'll if finish it. If it's this cold right now, it better not be this cold on my birthday. It almost is always really snowy on no, my birthday. No, I think your birthday it's is actually I've getting really nice. only ever had one nice birthday in the last like 20 years. Holy Sarah, she remembers. I do because I was outside <laughs> breaking. Are you holding a grudge against the weather? Yes. And I got a sunburn, mm -hmm. and I was very happy about that. But I also when was, was raking that? and got a blister. Um, Look at minus twenty four Wednesday night. I was living at probably Lattice, minus thirty with a wind chill. Oh gross! Sorry, I'm just saying. Okay, where's your birthday? Let's find it. April sixteenth. Oh, it's not on my forecast yet because it's in like. But a couple days before is zero. Like okay. there, there it is. There one zero zero one two. Oh, Good. minus twenty seven thousand. Shocking. Done. Not shock. It's not shocking. So anyway, keep an eye. Um, we'll post when it's released. But go to the Bluebird Box on Instagram and you the can follow dot Bluebird dot box. dot box. Show notes, folks. That's where you can find them. Because I probably know where. <laughs> the only reason why I got put in on the other podcast the other day was because it was Katie's little video and I was watching yes. it because I hadn't seen it. Right. So it was on Katie's video. So of course I like added in a few things. Oh. That's the only editing I really did was on okay. her video. I have to I say, watching it. Katie's going to be the star of tomorrow's podcast because oh, yeah. you have oh. got to see what she's doing. <coughs> she has totally my kicked a little bit. my butt. She's knitting <coughs> the mini Montrealer, Excuse which me. you've seen last week or in our last little episode. She was at the end and she showed. She was, yep. she had her markers on to put her pocket on. Her, like, she makes bunny me have all the regrets. You about can still not put it on. No, you can't. You have to do it while you're knitting it. Yeah, but you could. No, I'm not going to do that. Too, no. Now, Brennan, maybe. But... Maybe. Okay, so she's knitting that. Wait till you see it. It looks it's so cute. What an amazing pattern. I didn't realize, like, how professional that pocket. Yeah, she nailed super, that pocket. Oh, yeah, totally. She learned a lot, too, because she couldn't just, like, come and yeah, she couldn't get come Sarah and to, do to do it. it. So. I am. She is going to give me it so I can cast it off because I think it's a grafted edge. Oh, yeah? A grafted cast off. Okay, take this and just, you know what my concerns are. So I'm knitting also the Mini Montreal. This is my second one. It's a pattern by Dells, uh, Designs by Dells on Instagram. And this is for my second oldest son. I separated for sleeves. I did all this whatever. And now I'm Brought kind it. of... So what I did, I love this blue stripe and he loves this color. It's been in stash, but I held it double thinking it was a fingering weight because it had no ball band. Do you think it just needs to be held single? I think single would be much better. That feels terrible. I know, but if it's just one stripe there, 
Okay, I'm trying. I don't like frogging things, you know that. So I'm gonna do all the justifying so I don't have to take out 10 rows. Like really? Suck it up, buttercup. It's literally this much. But then you have to re-separate. Exactly, I have to pull it all back to my separation, which is not that far. <laughs> I'm such a wuss. I, I really don't like pulling out. So like, look, does it look that? No, it looks okay. And that, I think that roll. Okay, see that roll? That's like, I ironed it's like it. sucking it in. I know, I even ironed it. I like sprayed it down. I tried to block it. I have to rip it out. Yep. Okay, okay, Just, okay, okay. I'll, I'll rip it out for you. Does that make it, does that make it easier on you? I don't know. I just have to, and then I'll, then I'll hold it single. And then you know what? I'll be happy to use it the whole way through. Yeah. Actually, if I can hold it single, Ooh, if I can hold it single, I'm going to want to rip it all out because then I'm going to want to use it as the main stripe and do Instead a gray, of the gray. Why don't you just, or just do what Katie's doing. Yeah. Do what Katie's okay. doing. So she's like alternating her stripe. You're right. Then it'll look different than Brennan's, the Callum's. Yeah. So I can do this. Yeah, you can do that. Okay, because I already lost like four Seeing stitches. it live here, folks. So anyway, I am using, um, I did show it a couple weeks ago. I don't actually know anymore. It's a big, giant, like one of those eco balls of acrylic wool. I got out at Hippie Strings. And then I'm, my blue stripe, like I said, is this unknown. See, I just thought it was thinner than it was. And it's not that scratchy, but when I held it double, it's horrible. It's oh yeah, it's too, too thick. It's too thick. It's way too thick. So I'll do it again. I'll hold Especially it Especially when the rest of the sweater is so soft. Feeling. And my son, okay, I have to tell you a funny story while Sarah's ripping that out. So the other day I, he has been like, his brother has his now and he wants his so, so badly. So anyway, the other day they were playing outside before the big, well, actually the snow had fallen. It stopped for a little bit and it, it was actually up. decent that day. That, it that day was nice. I was like sitting it's at my, today it got cold. Yeah, I was sitting at my, kitchen table and I had cast on, I had put it on Insta stories. I had, was casting on the uh, throwover cardigan or sweater. And so they're in and out playing, playing and Callum comes in and gets, he's like, mom, can I wear my sweater? I said, yeah. And then Kiri comes in. She's like, I'm going to put on my sweater. And they were being all like funny because they didn't have to have their coats on because it was warm. So they put on their knitted sweater and then Brennan comes in and he always checks to see what I'm knitting. He's like, is my sweater done? He always asks me and he comes over and I'm knitting on the throwover and he's like, <laughs> that's not my sweater. He touches it. He's like, that's not my sweater. And I'm like, mm. all the mom guilt, all the knitting mom guilt. So now I'm ripping out your sweater. See, you or Brennan, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Whichever child of mine I have too you many are. boys. I have so it's many like, boys. Not too many boys. I pull out. Oh, mommy. I just love those. Oh, those are my favorite colors. Is that for me? I'm like, no. I think I'm an adult shawl. I knit her shawls. She loves her shawls. I know. And she loves scarves and shawls and all of that. So all that to say, after seeing Katie's mini Montrealer, I might have to just suck it up and put the pocket on this one. Because it's so... It's wait till you cute. see it. It's beautiful. Yeah. It's better than I even imagined. So Katie, you rocked it. Okay, while you're doing that, thank you for this mini ball of lameness. Um, this is Knit Picks, uh Stroll Fingering that I'm using. Hold held double very soft it feels fine but this blue just I wrecked it so hey bonus if I can put this in single then I'll have enough yeah totally. and I'm not to worried about thing. it yeah so actually before I separate maybe I should get him to put that on although it should be the same you know before I put my needles back in or were you gonna put my needles back yeah in? I was about to do that oh, you just now. do that you know you just go ahead okay Anything you if want you're to doing say? the same size as Callum's, it's fine. I know, but I just get nervous. No, I don't like, have anything else. What if I had done the bigger size and I accidentally did the, like, what if this is the, actually the smaller size? Is it though? No, I, I, I don't remember which one I knit Callum. Oh, you didn't mark it down? Well, not really. And then I had to reprint the pattern because I lost the one I marked on. Guys, I don't keep, you know, everyone will say, use Ravelry, that's what it's for. No, I have no time. <laughs> Anybody got time for that? It would save me time in the long run, but I just, we, we don't utilize it like it should be. So sorry about that. Um, okay, I'll show these last couple things. So a few more like party in the mailboxes that came this week that we ordered. Because it's and there's so much more coming. Um, it's all about supporting local business. Support your dyers, support your local yarn shop. Oh, Ooh, yeah, I should those. grab scissors for that. Yes. Okay, so I went and snuck a few skeins. Oh, what am from... I doing? That needs to be ripped out, my friend. You don't have to put my needles back on. Yeah, well. Um, from Sea Turtle. Oh, those are so sharp. And this is not even like, I bought man colors. I'm like, okay, I should probably be buying something for the men. 
at some point you oh, may yeah. want to knit something for land you know yeah i know what like i've been wanting to knit cory another toque eventually like just something that's a little bit more you know so i scooped these up this was in their sale one so i scooped up and i thought you'd like that it's called walking dead yeah i like it and so this is on their worsted 100 percent superwash merino worsted 218 yards and this is sea turtle fiber arts you should check out they have a crazy colors like they're self-striping and their color weights are fantastic they're very unique i really love um their yarns and i wish i could have bought more i probably should have so they're sea turtle fiber arts and they are local um as in in our province alberta so there it is walking dead i i'm assuming that's like blood and zombie like i don't know I don't watch it, but I love the colors. I think they'll make like the gray with pops of like red and green. I think it looks really sharp. Yeah. Was I right? Is this like a, like a walker? Well, like a zombie walker. Is that a thing? White walker. That's a thing. I think, yeah. I don't know where the green, no. That's from that show. White walker. From what show? Walking Dead. It is walker walking dead. I'm being totally serious right now. And you just show sure. Jon Snow is not Walking Dead. Shoot, what was it called again? Not Walking Dead. What's the other show you watch? Oh, Game of Thrones. Is that Game of Thrones? Yes. The White Walkers from Game of Thrones. Yes. Do you see where I got confused? It's Walking no, Dead. No, it's totally different. This is zombies. Yes. No, okay. <laughs> cool beans. I Love guess the yarn. technically the White Walkers could be classified as zombies too. Okay, but I felt no, like that was really, no. really similar. No. Okay. No. Moving right along. I know no. this one. This is called Flames. And we are big, uh, well, our husbands are the Calgary Flames fans. Actually, these guys are in Calgary, aren't they? I think so. I think so. So this is on the Ridley sock, which is a fantastic sock base. Love the sock base. And it's like all black with like micro pops of color. Isn't that so fun? I like that dye technique. Isn't that nice, sir? It's you like super it? nice. I love it so much. She's putting on my zippers. We don't have to do it now, Sarah. I do now that I'm at this point. It's fine. Okay, well, we'll say goodbye. Maybe should we show the last you thing? You don't have then... any more. Yeah, I do. I have one more. Yeah, keep going. But I forgot to get scissors. I gotta do it. I'm just putts in here. Okay. We're almost done, Grand. We're getting close to ten. I gotta get home. Okay. So this last one came from Allison Barnes. Oh, I'm excited. Oh, yeah, right, right, okay. right. Okay, Alice, you need to go to Alison Barnes' website. She is putting up um, a 10-week party in your mailbox, like, weekly subscription. You can just do one week or up to 10 weeks just during these times. And it's a surprise? I don't remember. I think it is. That's cool. Um, I love me a good surprise. I know you do. Okay, wow, that poofed right up. Oh, wow, it did. Woo! Okay, so I ordered some of her mohair. Oh my gosh, look at that. Okay, it's called Pink Champagne. And I did have an idea for this, and it could go for any of us, but we might use it for something else. But I have some really nice, um, I don't have it here, but in my stash, I have a nice fingering yarn that's very similar to this color. And I thought about knitting maybe a, a love Little note. Mini love note. A love note, maybe for Char or for Kiri. Um, Whatever. I should put mine on Char and see if she'd I'm, wear it. I'm all about love notes right now. I think they're beautiful. So this could be anything, but thank you, Allison. This is beautiful. It's so soft, hey? Oh, I love it. It's it so would just nice. add the perfect pop. It's got such a any... nice like halo on it. Probably should have ordered an adult quantity, but <laughs> I was trying not to. <laughs> that's so funny. Right? Because then you want to knit it for yourself. Okay, that's everything that came in the mail. This week, um, there's a few more things on their way. We've got some bags coming from So Shannon. By the way, I ordered a bag from So Shannon. Nice. <laughs> I love all bags. Oh, I should not go on Instagram. That but there is so a few things. A few more little, you know, we just want to, yeah. as we can, as we have a little bit of extra. You guys have supported us so much for our patterns, and we mm -hmm. want to be able to give and we'll support the support dyers. The dyers. This is tough. Like, this is main market season. Exactly. It's like, such a hard you know? time. Yeah. And we don't have like, you know, whatever. It helps to have the pattern money come in. <laughs> yeah. You know, everyone's kind of tough. I'm not working. You know, we've got lots of things like that, right? Yeah. That everyone's been affected. So whatever we can do. Okay. That's it. We should be done. Okay. I got to pee. Is there anything else? This oh. is the TMI episode. TMI. I got to pee. I thought like there was something else we wanted to 
What was a question that came in? Oh, shoot. Oh. Now I forget. See, I should have wrote them down. And I'm not going to sit here and just stare at this and scroll through. No, but if there's any other ones, or hey, if there's any questions that apply to the twins specifically, write them down in the comment section oh, below yeah. because they're going to be on the next one. Okay, someone said when you when we switched glasses at the end of last week's episode, you look just, you could have been the twins triplet. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's my gosh, a good that's one. so funny. And then, okay, Janice messaged us and says, oh, just started watching you gals. Not sure if you've heard of my nieces, Periscoping Sisters. And I'm like... Yeah, what? we love us some periscoping sisters. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. You're like, they're, they're like famous because you're their auntie. Oh my oh, gosh, I that's so ladies. cool. And then speak. Oh, this was it. Last week we talked about Chunk and Chuck. Oh yes. Okay, so Triple SSS says, speaking of Chunk and Chuck, what about your anywho for anyhow? Oh yeah, I do say is that. Is it anywho. slang or is it always the way anyhow is pronounced? Anywho, <laughs> it's not. Anyhow, their anyhow is its own word. Anywho is just like anywho. It's I slang. think I'm just, yeah, it's like a slang term, But it is not the pronunciation of anyhow. That is its own word. We do also say that. Um, oh, yeah. That's she's fun. like, I enjoy the podcasts, except when you all talk at once and I can't understand any of it. So sorry. It's just, and it's how it happens in life. Like, I'm a we little, are all talking at the same time. Literally. I'm a little nervous for the video podcast. I'm like, I'm going to not talk. I'm going to like pause and not talk while the others talk. I'm going to do my best, you guys. Okay. Know. Do your best. Forget the rest. Oh, I'm, I told, I already told Kate and Chris that I was going to mute her. <laughs> oh, okay. Someone just said, Jamie's tagline should be, okay, I'm going to stop talking now. <laughs> I know. I've seen that one. That's a good one. Okay. I'm going to stop talking now. <laughs> okay. I'm just seeing if there's anything else quickly. But yeah. So if you have oh, any yeah. specific things Vivian, for the twins. Vivian says, Jamie, you need to put on a mug. Don't let me cast that on. Because <laughs> I want to cast it on. Okay. That's a good one too. Okay, that's funny. I like both oh, of those. Oh, that's really funny. I like both of those. <clears throat> this is flipping pages. She talks about the stand, first of all. Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. What'd she say? Then she says, well, you have to read it. Well, tell me. I love the stand also. I tell everyone to read it. It is long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's My about... husband and I both re read it and love it and love the movie. It's um, the only disclaimer you can put on that. You I... should read the stand. It's so good. It's long. It's long. <laughs> and then it she says, long. you all say Jamie talks a lot. Maybe something about talking for my tagline. I like that. And then she's like, Jamie does a wonderful job as mistress of ceremonies on the videos. <laughs> Thank you. That's so funny. Thank you. Um, I also, um, I emceed Christina's wedding. Oh, yes, you did <laughs> too. Well. I was mistress of ceremonies. I like that name. I was super pregnant. <clears throat> super duper pregnant at her wedding. Um, oopsies, oopsies, oopsies. I'm dying laughing at you trying to remember the name of your own ebook. <laughs> what is it called? About that. I don't forgot to look. It's something with cozy though, cozy right? Hits, I don't know. Can you look it up right now? Molly Ringwald. Oh, yeah, okay. So funny when you both threw your back, your heads at the same time. This will be the episode where we just read the comments from last episode. Yeah, that's our new <laughs> podcast. Uh, okay, that's really fun. Okay, look up the ebook because now I'm super curious. Okay, just a sec. I'm not done yet. <laughs> it's it's something with cozy in it, right? Yeah, oh, yeah. All the cozy. It's called all the cozy. It it's called all the cozy. One hundred percent. I even made it. And <laughs> then I totally forgot what it was called. All the cozy. Knit all the cozy, or just all the cozy. Oh my gosh! Talk amongst yourselves. Yeah. Okay. All the cozy knits. Just no, it's all called the all the cozy. That's all. Yes. The cozy. All. <laughs> Is it on? I hope it counts as being on sale. You get like eight patterns. You should scoop it up. For all your chunky knits. It is on. You put it on sale, did you not? All your chunky knits. Chunky knits. Uh, okay, Jamie's tagline can be, isn't that Lord of the Rings? <laughs> I'm just seeing some of these now. Nice. Okay. <clears throat> That's a good one. Yes, we need to work on our 80s trivia. Yes. Yes, we do, Melanie. I'm never good at Yes, the I'm Breakfast Club is the one where they're in detention in the library. See, I was right about that. Yeah, I I've never seen, seen it. I've never Corey seen it. Corey made me watch it. Um... My husband is a few Wasn't years right older than me, also so in sixteen <laughs> candles though. See, Molly Ringwald. We were babies in the eighties, which is why we probably yeah. Maybe you have to. You have to I'd ask have to Google people. that. Ask the people. Was Molly Ringwald also in sixteen candles, or am I totally just like making that up? We could Google it, but that would be rude to be on our phones right now and just scrolling. <laughs> you're, like scrolling and reading all the comments. Molly Ringwald. Everyone's read everyone's, more. I am. That clubby yarn though. I'm not coordinating. Oh, it's, okay. Still. Die for you. Okay. Oh, she's from Manitoba. Die for you? I think I said Saskatchewan. 
Oh, and she's all the way from Manitoba. Wow, that's so far. Wow. Part of the prairies. Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, do you know of any sweater that doesn't have short rows? Kelly Davis asks. I'm having some trouble with short rows, but really want to make a sweater. I would say most sweaters that I've knit don't have short rows. This has short rows. Yeah, but like, um, maybe check out um, Tin Can Knits. This yeah. flax. Grand's knitting it right now. There's no short rows. Not in the back? I guess mom would have done her Mom yoke. did her yoke. Possibly check out Flax. Or um, just check out Tin Can Knits tin in can general. Knits. Because they're, they've got so many different types <laughs> of patterns. But there's also patterns. so many different kinds of short rows. Like, Are you keeping this? Uh, it looks kind of too much stress for me over there. Um, maybe there's some good YouTube tutorials for different kinds of short rows too. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, check out. I would check out Tin... Gosh, I can't remember now. Tin no, do you know what? I knit the flax for Curie. I'm sure there are no short rows in that sweater. It's very basic. Yeah. Oh, don't quote me 100%. Someone can maybe, like, who's knitting it currently, Gran is, but mom did the, did the yoke. Um, oh, how long have we been knitting? Oh, that's right. How long have y'all been knitting? Sunny beams. I've been teaching myself using YouTube videos, and I want to knit all the things. Sadly, my skill is not there yet. You will. You will it get will. there. Any suggestion on practice knits? Um, I would, I would suggest knitting something with a bit of like where you'll learn maybe a new stitch or two every time, like yeah. some increases, like a shawl. Um, something where like hopefully you can learn something a new technique every time. Yeah. Yeah. I knit terribly said, said. for seven years. Yeah, but we terribly. Yeah, yeah, we did, did kind of did funny things. And then when I got into it, when I actually got quite into it, then I started like learning why I was doing things wrong and what was going on mm -hmm. and how to do them right and blah, blah, blah. I find like sometimes slightly smaller knits are good as well. Um, so you don't get overwhelmed and they get so big, like yeah. some shawls like can get really big. Um, One skein shawls. Hey, you know what? Our triple treat. Yeah. One skein shawl patterns because it builds three different shawl, like the same stitch pattern, but you're building three different shapes. So yeah. you kind of get to practice. Um, and start with like our level one. And mm -hmm. then if you, you know, if that was okay, yeah. then go with level two and. Yeah, that's um, called triple treat shawls. Um, but also, if you're quite beginner, I would say just go and find a bunch of dishcloth patterns. Practice your stitches. And just practice stitches yeah. on dishcloths. Yeah, and um, any other suggestions, just put them down below guys. Like if you want to suggest some good beginner knits, maybe what you used when you were starting. We made our aunt knit like, 50 dishcloths before we'd let her knit anything she else. She should still be knitting dishcloths. <laughs> Just kidding. And now she wants to totally knit on kidding. a weekender. No, she'll she'll be good. She's uh, like, can I knit that? I'm like, yeah, with like oh, me video right. chatting with her. Here's our last question. Okay, this is the last one I'll say. I forgot about this one. Okay, I've been watching, started, I've started watching you guys from the beginning, but still trying, Laura Jean, still trying to figure out how many kids you each have and what you do for jobs or if you are stay-at-home parents. So we'll just touch on that really quick. Okay. And some people have said, like, when the pictures are scrolling at the end, they have no idea who belongs to who. It's no. pretty hard to keep track. We can't even keep track of our own kids. Yeah, I start shouting random names, like, I don't know. Can you right. start? You're the oldest. Okay, so I'm the oldest. Oh, yeah, someone asked, too, who, which of us was the oldest. Oh, that's funny. You need to guess. Okay, I'm the oldest, and I've got four. I have a daughter who's nine, and then three little boys who are seven, uh, just about six, and just turned four. And so those are my kids. Uh, we are all stay-at-home moms. Mm -hmm. um, I like drive school bus on the side lately. Not lately. <laughs> <laughs> not lately. Did not drive in school bus anymore. And um, have a few other little odd jobs here and there. Um, You're next. And I'm the second eldest, the boss. And um, yeah. um, I've got two. So my daughter uh, turned five in February. And my son is three. He'll be four in June. Um, and then Katie, our twin, our twin, one of the twins, has two as well. Her right. daughter is five. She'll be six in June. And then her younger daughter is three. She'll be four in June. That's a lot of Junes. Um, in our last three babies, CJ just turned four. And then yesterday. mine and yesterday, yeah, mine and Katie's turn for in June. So like our last three babies yeah. were like bam, bam, bam. So it's like when you see the pictures at the end, like who knows? They're One all the same age. Exactly. They're all the same everything. Like we call them the triplets. The triplets, yeah. <clears throat> and then Chrissy, did you say Chrissy? And then Chrissy has three fur babies. Three doggies. 
Um, they're all bigger than her, and she especially the, <laughs> the bear dog, Odin. Her, um, oh my gosh, he's a great Pyrenees Newfoundlander, Newfoundlander so he's gigantic. Oh my gosh, I hope. And she when works... we're recording tomorrow, I maybe she can have Odin make an appearance beside her. Oh my gosh, that'd be so funny. Odin, you need to come on the podcast. He's yeah. so big. He's so big. And she works at a company that her husband works for. <coughs> Uh, in the office. In the office, yeah, yeah. Doing like all the office things. We literally just about done this. Oh, sorry. Quickly, I'll just read this comment because I haven't been on in a couple days. Mm -hmm. uh, Clarine. <clears throat> First, she says Jamie's tagline should definitely be "just kidding," which I do say <laughs> a lot. Molly Ringwald is the actress in Sixteen Candles oh, and The Breakfast Club. Okay, I was right. I knew it. And then she has a lovely, long message here about designing, and I'll have um, to go it's on. Very sweet. From last week's. Sarah, you look like the twins when you have Jamie's glasses on. Okay, that is funny. <gasps> That's so interesting. Do yours and Jamie's brains ever shut down? No, they don't. <laughs> I, was... I also don't uh... sleep well, probably because of that. Oh, that's fun. And she missed seeing Chrissy this time around. We'll all get to see. Oh, could you tell us where the little, this is Jane now. Could you tell us where the little snap bag was from? Remember your little snap bag? And we all got them. Oh, oh that, um. Oh, she gave them to us at Knit City. Yeah. I'm having a blank. Was it? I follow her in this The Crafty room. Knitter? Was it Sue? Was no, it Sue? I don't think it was. Oh, Sue, was that you? I feel like it was, um. But a lot of big, not ah, a lot, but like shoot. I've seen a few of them. They're like skein holders for in your bags. And some of them come with like little markers saying like MC, C1, C2, C3, just to keep your like balls separate inside of your bags. But I use them a lot for like notion, little notions bags inside of my project bags. Cause I always have like extra progress keepers or a tape measure if I need it or extra needles and my keys for my tight to tighten my needles. And I have everything in those usually. Yes. Okay. And I'm just, so I'm totally blanking. Why did I think it was Sue? Well, because she gave us a beautiful gift too. Oh, we got a few things. I'm just drawing a blank it right now. It was from that first year. It wasn't from this current knit. But I know, from the year before. yeah, I know that there, you can find them in shops. Mm -hmm. Um, that's such Kim. Maybe she'll make his own. <laughs> this is my yard. Oh, isn't my sister awesome? See, if I just keep talking, she'll just do my stuff for me. Can you want to show it? Yeah. You're the best. And then I have, I have another one. <laughs> We're never going to end because I'm still scrolling questions. This is fun so though. So there it is now. It's a lot smaller. Sorry. Oh, was someone told <laughs> we were talking about all the gray hair last week? Oh it's yeah. Natural tinsel, not gray. Natural tinsel. I've got some good natural um, tinsel. <clears throat> okay, here's it. Oh, ouch. This is a okay. great question. If you have to pick one pattern of yours and one pattern of another designer's to knit, this is this is desert island knitting. To knit forever, and that's it. What would it be? I don't know. Is it about being practical? Like, is it about it or enjoyment? It's the thing is, is like, are you going to knit a hundred of these things and they're going to be practical? So like a sweater or is it to enjoy? Okay, of our patterns. I know which one I love. Well, I'm thinking of this one because I just love it so much oh, and I yeah. always want to knit it is my, um, this is a different designer. Oh, Andrew Mowry. It's Andrew Mowry. Pretty much, could I just knit Andrew Mowry's designs? Yeah. Can I just pick one designer? Like Sarah's picking one author last week or one book. She picks like one author. This is my What the Fade. And you've you got another one on the needle. I do have you? another one and I would be knitting it every day if I could. Yeah. I love this brioche. I wear this so much. Is it cold where we're going to be knitting? Because this is too big. Right? <laughs> Are we going to be like in our house? This so my take tall pattern. No, I'm just kidding. That's the thing. This could be like a blanket. This could be a shawl. This could sew up and be a poncho. Like you could knit so many things. Mm-hmm. There's mine. What the fade by Andrew Mowry. See, I would want something else with like. I think I'd pick a Stephen West one for enjoyment. Yeah, because I don't know which changing. one, but I would pick something of his probably. I because really enjoyed Exploration Station. I enjoy. Yeah, that was a blast. I enjoy his patterns in general. Yeah, it's hard to pick just one. We're gonna have to think yeah. about that one. One of our own, and then one of our own. I'm gonna tell you right now. Elizabeth Wooten, our friend Elizabeth, is on her fifth Katie shawl. So yeah. I'm going to say she would knit the Katie shawl yeah. over and over. Um, I, would, I, I don't know if I would. I, what would I knit over and over? 
Okay, I'm so I'm sitting here thinking really hard about all of our shawl patterns, and like I'm literally drawing a blank on any of them. Like, I think what I would did make, I design? Like, a cowl. Why? Stitchless. It's just something to do. Something different to change. It changes all the time. Gosh, that's tricky. Socks. No, I would not knit socks. Let's get real. I really enjoyed the what the cracks. Yeah, that was fun. It's not even out yet. I better get on that. I did like that one. Mm -hmm. Don't get me wrong. Oh, I, like I like them all, but I like the Overlander. Yeah, I like Overlander mm -hmm. too. The BFL. It's like... I liked the BFL though. Yeah, see, that's too much lace for me. Yeah, I like that one. I'm not I knitting lace. I'm one. not doing Desert Island lace knitting. It needs um, to be enjoyable yet manageable. I wish I had a brioche pattern out because then I'd pick that one probably. This is them again, zero left handed. And this Which is my one, sister. That was probably one of my but favorites. But it can't be your favorite color. Which one? If only one color existed to knit with, but it can't be your favorite color. I'm going to say mustard is not my favorite color. There's a different I'll color other than purple. I'd pick probably like burgundy. Then. Or is like that too color. close? Toffee. Is that too close to purple to say burgundy? Yeah, I'm picking toffee. You can say burgundy. I don't know. What and I what weight pick. of yarn? DK. I would knit everything in DK. If there was only one weight of yarn, I would pick DK. What would you I pick? would pick fingering. I would. Sorry. I like fingering. I like a little mixture. You get, I like, I like, I like DK. it. I like the yardage. Okay, I want all the yards. We're allowed to be different. That's a good one. I like this. This was fun. Islands. Sorry, I'm just scrolling, guys. You don't have to be here. No one has to sit and listen to us. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I missed all these. Um, what is the name of the pattern you mentioned during your chat about the Montreal or Mini Montreal? Or you said something about it being a redo. Oh, Sosu. Yeah, it okay, was the cardigan. Yeah, look it up. Uh, times you talk to each other about something and don't look up at the camera. Oh, and the mic doesn't pick it up. Oh. Sometimes we're looking down and not talking to the camera. Okay. Duly noted. Let me look and see. <laughs> Let me hold what my phone so up here now. Okay, let's get that pattern because yeah. you're going to knit it and we've now said it a couple times. It is called... Dun, dun, dun. Oh, it's so cute. It's so cute. Hoodie, shawl, cardigan. I knew it had the word shawl in it. So this is the one that Sarah's going to cast on, the one we were talking about that we just got that question. So there's um, the designer. Oh, it's so cute. I'm super excited. Her color, Sarah's colors that she picked are Midnight Cravings. Mm -hmm. She's been hoarding I've been hoarding this, this for set. a while. Yeah, I've been hoarding this for a while. Yeah. Okay, we're going to be done. I got it. I got it. Oh, right. You said that like 20 minutes ago. 20 minutes oh, we're ago. at like an hour and Yeah, we have minutes. to go. It's late at 10 o'clock. Okay. Yeah. It has been so nice chatting with you again. Yes. And we will see you very shortly with the twins, hopefully, in a couple days. Yep. We'll have the four of us. It's just like, areas. disclaimer that the sound isn't going to be as good. I think that's to be expected. But it's going to happen. Like, I think it's, it's to be hard. Expected. It's yeah. hard because we're all. We'll do our places. best. And <laughs> we don't have, well, we don't have professional setup anyway. Neither do we have four professional setups. Yeah. In our own respective homes. So. Yeah. I'm going to be hiding out, like, in my basement. Yes. <laughs> like, so we'll be coming to you. in my basement, so. The next time, hopefully, all four of us together, not together. Um, our faces will be close. Our faces will together. be close together, but we will be in separate homes. So, hope you guys are all doing well, staying healthy. I didn't Thank figure you. that's right are. where it goes. Okay. That was where your yarn ended, okay. where I blah, blah, blah. See, everybody needs a Sarah. Have a wonderful day, and we'll see you soon. Yep. Happy, Happy knitting. knitting.